What's up guys, Joe from My Tech Jam here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play Sega Genesis on your Amazon Fire TV or Fire TV Stick. Before we get started guys, remember if you like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below. And for more Amazon Fire TV tips and tutorials, subscribe to my channel. So the first thing we need to do is scroll over to the settings menu on our Fire TV. Then over to Device. Then under Developer Options, make sure that ADB Debugging is on and Apps from Unknown Sources is also on. Next, you'll need your Fire TV's IP address. You can get this by going back in the Device menu, clicking About, and scrolling down to Network. Once you've done that, you can switch over to your computer. Once you're on your computer, open up a web browser and go to mytechjam.com slash aftv-sega.zip. Once you click enter, the installer package should start to download. When it finishes downloading, open the folder where you saved it and extract the files. Once you have the files extracted, if you look in the package, you'll see that I've included the APK file for the Sega Genesis emulator, and I've also included three ROM files for you, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, and 3. In order to install the Sega Genesis emulator on your Fire TV, just double-click on the Sega emulator batch file. If you have Windows Smart Screen enabled, you may get this pop-up, click More Info, and Run Anyway. The pop-up may also look like this. If it does, just click Run. Once the window pops up, just type in the IP address of your Fire TV and the emulator will be installed. The window will close when it's finished and as you can see, we have the Sega Genesis emulator on the Fire TV ready to launch. Next, we'll need to go back to the AFTV Sega folder, make sure we have our ROMs in the ROMs folder, and then run the Sega ROMs batch file. You'll receive the pop-up again, just click More Info and Run Anyway. Once the window pops up, just type in your Fire TV's IP address again, and it will take the ROMs folder from your computer and transfer it over to your Fire TV. Also, keep in mind that in the future, if you want to add more ROMs to your Fire TV, just add them to the ROMs folder and run the batch file again. Once that finishes, we're ready to switch back over to our Fire TV and play some Sega Genesis. When you get back on the Fire TV, scroll down to Your Apps and Games, then go all the way over to the right and click See All. Then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you should see the Sega Genesis emulator. Click on it to open it up. Once it opens up, scroll down and find the ROM Sega folder we created and then open that up. Now from here you can choose any one of the ROMs to start them up. I'm going to open up all three games just so you guys can see they work. In my experience, they run pretty smoothly. In order to play these games, you will need to map your controls. To do this, you can click the Menu button on the Fire TV Remote, the one with the three lines. Click Settings, Input Settings, Key Mappings, and then you can set all your controls from here. You can also close one of the ROMs by clicking the Menu button, scrolling over and clicking More, and then choosing Close. I will now quickly just open up the other two games so you guys can see they work.
Another note, once you open the emulator the first time from your apps and games, it will appear on the recents menu on your home screen. As always, if you guys like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more content.